The kid, 16-year-old Ni Dang, used to get in trouble for drawing on everything in her house but a piece of paper. These days, the Cheektowanga High School junior showcases her talents mostly in a sketchbook. But for her latest masterpiece, it was back to her old ways. I came here during my lunch period and kind of just looked around the room to find a good place to start and I saw that wall right here. The perfect place for this colorful conversation starter because she hopes it will get students talking as they head out the door and into the hallway. I love when kids go up to me and they're like, oh, did you paint that? What's that for? Nee spent more than 20 hours of her own time painting this giant mural to raise awareness about organ donation, the main goal of the school's Warriors for Life extracurricular group. People will see it, they'll ask questions, they'll try to understand what it really means. Perhaps no one in the group knows more about the gift of life than advisor Lorianne Conti, whose son JT was born with a congenital heart defect. Following surgeries at six months and six years old, JT was living a normal life, going to school and playing sports. At 16, however, during a routine checkup, doctors noticed swelling around his heart and recommended him for a heart transplant. Unlike so many others, JT's time on the waiting list was less than a month. Doctor comes in again and he goes, JT, we found a heart. He was like, okay. First thing he did was grab the computer and emailed his hockey coach and said, I'll be able to play, you know, somewhere in the season. For the next nine years, that gift from a stranger near Pittsburgh gave Lorianne the chance to watch her son get back on the ice, learn to drive, and graduate high school. He went on to help coach hockey and inspire kids at the very same heart camp he went to as a child. Sadly, last March, JT's heart grew weak. His heart just gave up. Now, just steps away from the seat where JT sat to learn, a mural in his memory is helping to teach others. I think he would love to see his legacy live.